So you're not sure, right, whether you're going to sign up for this 60-day high-impact discipleship training. Um, and if you've read that it's going to take about 12 hours a week over eight weeks to be a part of it, um, you might not just be on the fence, but you're probably leaning toward probably not. Well, before you make your decision, I want to remind you of what we've already said. New Testament followers of Christ had lives that were overflowing with an uncontainable love. They had inexpressible joy and they had supernatural power at work in their lives. So when you read about their lives and you see the passion and the purity and the wonder and the joy and the impact of their lives, do you realize that is God's will for you in Christ Jesus? No doubt. He didn't want one kind of disciple and follower back then in the first couple of hundred years as his church began in a different kind today. It is his will for you that you have that same power, that same passion, that same joy, and that same love. And the early church, that church you read about in the book of Acts, was an unstoppable force radically transforming the world for the cause of Jesus Christ. Isn't that the kind of movement you want to be a part of? Let me let you in on a truth. That is what his church is today. If you're thinking to yourself, people don't live like that today. And the church doesn't move like that today. You're wrong. It is moving like that around the world. And there are so many people, millions of people in fact, who like those New Testament Christians are experiencing God in their lives with that depth of passion and purpose and power power and joy and love and that's what he wants you to be a part of and you might think to yourself but how do you realize that if we simply do what they did in obedience to Christ he will do in us what he did in them and he will do through us what he did through them because see all they were doing was in obedience they were positioning themselves and surrender to him for him to be able to lead them empower them and move them to be a part of bringing hope to every person on the planet. And regardless of their jobs or what they do, you know, of, of their different gifts and their different personalities and who they were, every one of them were invited to be and by His Holy Spirit became life changers by making disciples who would make disciples who would make disciples. And that's what God wants to do in and through you. And so all you're doing is stepping in to do what Christians have done for, for nearly 2,000 years. And that is just in obedience, position themselves to say, God, I'm ready to listen and follow and be used by you. And he will do it in you and through you. And, and our part in this is to help you to just learn to be in the place that God wants you to be, to learn to obey him in ways that he can then move in and through your life into a life with that kind of purpose and passion and power and joy. But you may be thinking to yourself, but 12 hours, come on. <laughs> well, I wanna remind you, you have 168 hours in every week. You give that 12 hours to him and you have what, uh, still 150, six hours left over for whatever you do because here's the reality you gladly give 30 or 40 hours of your week to a boss if you're in school you give 20 to 40 hours of your week to your professors or teachers if if you are an average american you give 40 hours of your week every week just to leisure 20 hours of those mostly watching television you also you spend 17 hours of your week just scrolling through social media and so how about 12 hours given to the one that you call Lord? How about 12 hours given in order to be a part of a radically powerful movement throughout this world that God is using to bring hope to every human being who still has breath? Oh my goodness, come on. <laughs> to have a life that is overflowing with an uncontainable love, that has inexpressible joy, that has supernatural power. All these things are the things that God has promised he will do in you. He will do in you. He will do through you. And all you have to do is be obedient enough to put yourself in a position to be surrendered to him for him to do it. And that's what he wants to do. And so we're asking you, is 12 hours a week worth it <laughs> for that kind of life to be a part of that kind of movement? If you think that it is, we hope you'll sign up and we'll see you at 6.30 on Zoom 
on May the 3rd, and we'll get started with 60 days, that at the end of those 60 days, um, I guarantee you, you're gonna look at 12 hours a week and you're gonna think, that isn't near enough time to enjoy the life that God has invited me to. You're gonna want even more. God bless you. We look forward to seeing you on May the 3rd at 6.30.